everyone, my name is Vanessa and I'm a third year medical student in the La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute College of Medicine. And in this video, I'll be talking about how DLS and MHSI teaches medicine to their students in terms of lectures, examinations, practical examinations, and much, much more. So I hope that you would find this video helpful and by the end of this video, you would know why DLS and MHSI is the right medical school for you. Let's talk about the lectures. Each lecture is conducted in the College of Medicine auditoriums 1, 2, and 3, depending on your year level. And each auditorium has almost 300 very comfortable seats, each with a foldable table that you can pull out from the armrests. And they have two very big projector screens in front for any of the lectures such as PowerPoints, videos, and anything that the lecturer wants to project. Plus, there is a chalkboard and a whiteboard in the middle in front in case the lecturer wants to write something down. And lectures are usually two hours long, but sometimes there are some topics that require about four hours to finish. Now aside from head knowledge, DLS MHSI also places a lot of emphasis on skills training. So each module has a sign relation activity wherein students are required to demonstrate the appropriate skills and techniques required of a general physician. First year students mostly practice basic skills such as basic life support, endotracheal tube insertion, ECG placement and interpretation, chest auscultation, and monitoring vital signs just to name a few. A video demonstration is provided by the department in charge of the module and it's uploaded in Moodle days before the simulation activity so that the students can view the video and they can practice by themselves or with a partner. Now, on the day of the simulation activity, the students are divided into groups of 8 to 10 and each group has their own consultant. And these consultants will demonstrate the skills in person before having the students perform the skills either on a simulation dummy or on a laboratory partner. And that's how it's done in the first year. Now, in the second year, at the end of each module, the students are expected to perform a more in-depth history-taking and a focused physical examination on actual human patients. And that is very, very much exciting. But actually, these human patients are not really sick patients, but they are just actors who are hired by the departments to act out a given script or a given disease and by the end of the activity, the student must be able to diagnose this disease. Now, aside from demonstrating the appropriate physical examination skills, the student must also be able to write a complete and well-organized history and physical examination report to be submitted to the consultant for checking. And that's how it's done in the second year. Now, come third year, these physical examination skills and history taking will be done for actual patients admitted in the La Salle University Medical Center. And this is what we call ward works in third year. And this is to prepare us for clerkship the following year. Now, another unique thing about DLS MHSI is how we conduct our examinations, or what we call evaluations. Yep, that's right. DLS MHSI is completely paperless in our exams. Well, that's in the College of Medicine. All examinations or evaluations are done in the Health Informatics Laboratory, which is a very big laboratory with almost 300 computers that are connected to a main server controlled by the staff. Now, on your screen, you would see the questions and you would be able to answer uh, by clicking on the, on the letter that you want to answer or by typing in your answers in case of essay questions. And of course, during the exam, a lot of faculty members are proctoring of walking around the laboratory, checking if anyone is looking where they shouldn't be looking. Now, after the exam, you'll be able to see the answers to the questions either right away or a few hours after. And you'd also be able to see your score. So that's how we conduct examinations in DLS MHSI. Now, the grading system in the College of Medicine is quite different from the rest of the Lasallian schools because we still follow the 100% grading system. Well, it's hard to talk about how each course grades because some courses give grades for quizzes, some courses give grades only for evaluations, so it's really hard to tell you how exactly we're graded. But as usual, the passing grade is 75%. A GWA or a general weighted average of 90% will give you a college honors award 
and a, a general weighted average of I think 93% would give you a university honors award. Now aside from the honors award, certain courses also give out special awards just like the anatomy department. They give out these golden dissection tools for their top 10 or top 15 students. The Physiology Department also gives their own award, Microbiology, Psychology, and all of the other courses. So that is something to look forward to uh, at the beginning of each school year. Now one of the exciting things about first year medicine is the Anatomy Dissection Laboratory. Yes, as early as first year, you'd be able to dissect an actual human cadaver with your small groups of about six to eight students. And of course, during each dissection session, you would have different consultants from different specializations. For example, if you're going to dissect the, the lungs today, you would have a pulmonology consultant and a lot of other anatomy professors who would assist you and who would go around the, the room um, demonstrating how to dissect and explaining the different parts and allowing the student to ask certain questions. Now, anatomy conducts their own laboratory examinations and it's done by the MOVE system. And some of you are already familiar about this from your undergrad courses. Now, a MOVE system is where you would have an actual cadaver with pins on different parts of the body and you would be asked to either identify the pin part or you would be asked to give the innervation, to give the function, or any, any question that the doctor can ask about that pin structure. And you will be given 20 seconds to answer these questions and 5 seconds to move from one station to another. Now, histology and pathology laboratories are done in the health informatics laboratory. Now, you would have high quality slides on your computer screen and you would have a laboratory manual to follow. Now, each session would also have a separate discussion part before the, the individual students would view their slides. Now, uh, one of the characteristics of the five-star physician is a researcher. There is a lot of emphasis placed on research. And it's so important because we have our own research center, the Angelo King Research Center, which has a level three accreditation by the Philippine Health Research Ethics Board. And level three is the highest accreditation that can be given to a research institute. And that means that Angelo King Research Center can conduct researches for Food and Drug Administration. And right now it's conducting the vaccine trials for the COVID-19. So if you're a student who's very much interested in research, then DLS MHSI is the right school for you. Now the different departments usually schedule their lectures in a way that there's a certain body system that's being discussed all throughout. For example, physiology would be discussing the renal system at the same time that anatomy and histology and biochemistry are also discussing about the renal system. Now, at the end of each of these modules, there would be an integration activity wherein the, the small groups would be given either two or three cases with each case having about six to ten questions. Now during the integration activity, a group would be chosen to present in front all of their answers to the questions and the consultants from different departments would be able to ask questions or follow-up questions that are either addressed to the group that's reporting or to the audience or the other students in the audience. One of the things I admire about the Salian schools is that two of their core values is actually zeal for service and communion in mission. A lot of emphasis is placed on serving the community and being a social mobilizer. That's why as early as first year, you're already immersed in the community through the course community medicine. This is where you would go to different barangays and you would interview different families with the goal of trying to find out what are the certain problems existing in their community and what are the possible solutions that you as a, as a medical student and as a future doctor can do to help. One of the unique things about TLS MHSI is we have a mentor-mentee system. Once you're enrolled in first year, you would be given a mentor that would be with you until you graduate. 
and you would meet this mentor during the Grand Mentor Mentee Assembly. This is a very fun day wherein all of the students together with the clerks, the residents, and the consultants would be together in, in the Animal Center playing games and just enjoying everyone's company and it's such a great day because you would see these highly esteemed consultants who are playing sports, playing tug of war, and just being so fun to be with. And it's so encouraging to see all of these consultants just passionately investing themselves, giving their time to students, molding them and helping them and mentoring them into the physician that they want to be. After the, after the General Assembly, you would have scheduled mentor-mentee meetings all throughout the school year. There would be about three to five mentor-mentee meetings all throughout the year. And you would just sit with your mentor and with your co-mentees, have lunch or have dinner or whatever you would, you would um, arrange with your mentor. And you would just talk about med school life. You would just talk about your struggles and your mentor would at their bet at their very best give you advice they would encourage you and they would just guide you on what you can do what more you could do and how you can improve and how you can achieve your goals in becoming the doctor that you want to be and that for me is such a great thing about dlsmhsi because not a lot of schools have this mentor mentee system Aside from this grand mentor mentee assembly, there's also, of course, Sports Fest, wherein all of the different batches would compete against each other in different sports, such as basketball, swimming, and frisbee, and even esports. At the end of the Sports Fest, there would also be an awarding session. And aside from the Sports Fest, there is the much awaited JFT. Medical students would be able to showcase their talent. The entire batch would be involved in creating a very big musical production that would be performed in front of the entire College of Medicine. And there would also be a video competition, there would be a band competition, there would be a pageant, and a lot more things that would be so enjoyable for all of you doctors who are also talented. So if you're a student who's also into dancing, singing, videography, then this is the night that you should watch out for. Now, another thing I admire about TLS Ambitious Eye is how much they're involved, not only in local competitions, but also in international competitions. The students would be given a chance to compete overseas, and the school would take care of all of the expenses. That is, wow, a very big wow for me. So as early as my first year, I was already able to compete in um, Bangkok, Thailand. Even though we didn't win, we were only able to place fifth out of the 55 schools. We were able to gain friends. We were able to widen our network into an international group of friends who are all studying towards being a doctor. And that for me is an award in itself. Now during my second year, I was again blessed with the opportunity to represent the school in another international competition. This time, it was the Indonesian International Medical Olympiad and it was held in Bali, Indonesia last October 2019. Now, in this competition, we were able to win third place out of 45 medical schools in the tropical infectious disease category. That for me is one of the highlights of my journey as a medical student. Now, not a lot of medical schools in the Philippines do this. In fact, whenever we join an international competition, most of the time, we're the only ones who are representing the country. So if you're a student who wants to experience competing in overseas competitions, and also of course in local competitions, then DLS MHSI is the right school for you. Of course, in medicine, it's not all about studying. You also have different school organizations that you can join. There's Agape, which is a Christian organization in the school which conducts discipleship groups and also worship nights every other month. And there's also the Medical Mission Society, which organizes medical missions at least twice a year. There's also Siren Kimik for all of you singers out there. There's Med Dance for the dancers and a lot more organizations that I don't have time to mention in this video. But all of them will be introduced to you during your freshman orientation. Of course, this video would not be complete if I would not talk about the scholarships available at DLS MHSI. These scholarships are not just academic scholarships. There are also service scholarships, financial scholarships, and special externally funded scholarships. This wide array of scholarships embodies the goal of Masalian schools to make education available for all, reaching the very least, the last, and the lost in the community. I myself am a living testimony of the generosity of DLS MHSI 
I have what we call the Brother President Scholarship Grant, wherein my tuition fee, miscellaneous fee, my uniform, my books, and even my medical equipment are all shouldered by a sponsor affiliated with the school. Now, even my dormitory and my food is all provided for by different sponsors. There's three of us in my batch that has this Brother President Scholarship Grant. I don't think there's another school in the country that can give a scholarship as generous as that. If you're someone who, like me, you've been dreaming to be a doctor all your whole life but you can't afford it, TLS MHSI can help you. I hope that with this short video, I was able to briefly introduce to you and give you a virtual tour of what to expect once you're enrolled as a LaSallean medical student. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you around in campus.